Not too long, not too short. What is the right cutting height when it comes to harvesting our crops? Today we're going to talk with Tim Schnockenberg, Regional Agronomy Specialist with University of Missouri. Tim, what do you recommend for cutting height? Well, as an industry, I think we have a tendency to cut way too low. Uh, we need to be thinking about raising our cutting just a little bit higher than what we normally do. And I think for alfalfa, uh, since there's not any chloroplast at the very base for photosynthesis, we can cut to three inches. When it comes to the cool season grasses like uh, orchard grass or fescue or brome, we probably need to go more up to four inches. If we can get to four inches, we've left some chloroplasts there for, for, sun, uh, for sunlight to get to and get a good restart on the next crop. And then for native grasses like warm season grasses, we probably ought to go a little higher, even up to four to six inches. Uh, on those. For Bermuda grass, it's a little bit more forgiving, but I would say three or four inches. From the plant's perspective, does this help any when we go a little oh, bit higher? Ab absolutely. I think uh, when, we, when we cut higher, we leave some chloroplasts for photosynthesis to occur. So we don't rely totally up on the root system to get the crop back up for the next cutting. And so that actually results into a quicker regrowth so that the harvest can be done sooner for the second time around. We also have the benefit of having some stubble there to kind of hold that crop up for aeration. We also find that there's really not much benefit to harvesting low because we're not getting much nutritional value out of that. So it's not gaining much tonnage and it's not gaining much nutritional value. So the point is, think a little bit higher when we're setting our cutting heights. Thank you, Tim. Very interesting. With a Making Hay Minute, I'm Brian Setzer. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Making Hay Minute. Please check out some of these other videos or find us at makinghay.com.